our mother earth is highly crucial as it gives us food, water, and air to sustain our life. Our well-being completely depends on it. However, when humanities are abusing our environment by cutting down trees, improper waste disposal, and mining, we will surely enjoy its adverse effects like flash floods, earthquakes, and typhoon. So today, we will be talking about typhoon and the things we should do to prepare before, during, and after a typhoon. Before a typhoon, the first thing to do is build an emergency kit and make sure that you have a family emergency plan. Know your surroundings. Learn the, the elevation level of your property and whenever the land is flood prone, which helps you know your property will be affected when storm, surge, or tidal flooding are forest cast. Keep all your important documents. Charge all your cell phones to have enough batteries. During the typhoon, keep your eyes and ears open. Anything could happen is an instant. Don't go outside unless you need to evacuate or an emergency has happened. Secure your home and turn off your appliances. Turn off your LPG tanks as well. Save the batteries on your phone for emergency calls. Listen to the radio or TV for information and keep your weather radio handy. Pack foods, water, and medicine that last until 3 days. After the typhoon, watch out for continuous rains and flooding. They may persist despite the storm being gone. If you got them separated to your family, make sure to remember your meeting plans and meet at the desired place. Keep listening to the latest news on the radio and TV. If there is no electricity, make sure your, ba your radio has enough batteries. Ask the local officials first if it's safe to go back to your house home. According to Benjamin Franklin, failing to prepare means you are preparing to fail. This quote reminds us that it is important to be prepared for all the situation encountered. And the most important thing that you bring is to pray for protection.